Well, I went to winterize the bike today, change the oil, throw in some fuel stabilizer, etc., etc. And unfortunately, I had a little small problem while changing the oil on my Husky. As I was tightening one of the oil filter or oil screen caps, the bolt sheared off on me. Right there. And it's only, it's a 2007, so I mean the bolt's probably five years old. I'm very surprised and saddened by the fact that that would actually happen. Here's the left hand side one. And here's the one that sheared off on me. So I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna trust this bolt actually. I'm gonna order a couple replacements and throw it on because having a bolt shear break and shear off on you like that after five years, it's kind of like I'm used to bolts on my ATC from 1986. I can use an impact wrench on them and they don't even shear off most of the time. And then a husky bolt goes and does that, does that on me? Uh uh uh, not impressive. So I had to whip off the Canadian tire because I don't even have a tool to get that out. Uh, I hope these will work. They're called Rabbit. Or no, these are the Mastercraft Maximum something or others. Screw extractors. Removes damaged bolts. Apparently you drill. First of all, you drill with this side just to get a get a groove or whatever you want to call it. And then you reverse the bit and this goes in and apparently unscrews it. Sounds easy. Likely never will. Like it's usually never easy as easy as it sounds. So we'll see how it goes. I just purchased this punch just to allow me to get the drill bit centered on that because it's gonna kind of got a nasty burr on there that would be difficult to start. So here I go. Wish me luck. Hope I don't uh, get angry and end up making it worse. Well, it wasn't quite as easy as they made it sound, but check this shit out if you can see this. It's gonna be hard, but... It's out! Oh, good work. Good work, little bit. I had to press a lot harder than I thought I was going to have to um, on the drilling side of this grab it bit or this extractor. It's not a grab it, I don't want to keep saying that. But on this side here, it's going to be impossible to focus on here, unfortunately. But the side that roughs up the inside or like that basically drills a hole into the uh, into the broken bolt, you have to press really hard. I had to use a lot of force to get it to uh, start drilling away at the uh, to make any progress on the bolt. But then once I had a deep enough hole, I just shoved this end in, put the drill on reverse, pressed hard, give it a little short burst. I think maybe an impact wrench would be better for that actually. But in the end, I've got it out. I'm just going to finish removing that, set the camera down. So there we go. In the end, I used the very smallest size extractor. And this, uh, I'm not even sure what size of bolt this is. It's a 8mm uh, head, whatever that makes the size of the bolt. But <coughs> So, Canadian Tire actually comes through for a change. Now I just have to order some new bolts so that I can slap that fill, uh, screen cap back on and uh, fill her with oil and let her sleep for the winter. Although, you know that's not going to happen. I'm going to get it out into the snow at least once or twice. <laughs>